Welcome back friends, and this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick video. So today I uh, mentioned to you guys that I was going to come back and show you how I am making this cyber track, right, uh, using pipe cleaners. So this is the progress of how far I've come. And I want to show you how I'm going to make some of the other parts. So I have run out of, I've run low on green. <laughs> so let's try a different color. So this is the frame and this is really cool because it's malleable and it reminds me of when I was a kid growing up in Uganda and we used to make our own toys, right? So this is one of the things that I've been teaching my kids, well, they're no longer kids anymore, <laughs> but when they were little, we'd sit down and actually find a way to like interact and talk about my culture and talk about uh, different things like how we used to make our own toys, right? So. One day I was actually driving through Springfield, Virginia, and I saw someone driving a cyber truck. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I think that's a really cool idea for me to try out. So I said, I took some uh, photos and a video, and then I started working on it. So this was prior to even me seeing the cyber truck. I didn't even know it was even in this area. I've only seen one cyber truck. In, uh, in Virginia, at least the area that we're in. So if you guys have seen one in Virginia, if you live in Virginia, please let me know. And uh, so here's what I have so far. And these are the pipe cleaners that I'm using. These are really, really good because they bend easily and it's very easy for, the, uh, for you to create corners like that, for example, to bend something and they stay, you know. So uh, if you're a parent out there and you have kids that are interested in making crafts, this is a really, really neat way to for them to safely, you know, create toys. So this is very easy to like tie together and also to make like something <laughs> out of it. You can make glasses, you can make whatever you want with this. It's so malleable. So when I was grow up, growing up in Uganda, we used to use wires. So these are much softer and much safer. After a while, even my fingers would actually be torn apart <laughs> because of the wires. But today... This is how the progress that I've made so far. And uh, I'm just so grateful to each of you that has streamed in today. I hope this will give you some idea. And if you have cousins, siblings, if you have uh, kids, this is something that I think will be an encouragement for them to be able to create their own toys. So instead of being on tablets and phones, you could actually give them as a, an assignment. Find a car, find your favorite car, right? And then try to cre recreate it. Yeah. <laughs> so... Chilembe, Washington, you say they build them in Austin, too many cyber trucks. Man, I wish I could see some photos of that on the road, right? I saw someone who had polished his cyber truck. And it's almost like a reflection of the... So I, I imagine if you're on the road, you could easily drive into that <laughs> and crash into it because of uh, the mirror effect. Mine is not going to be that sophisticated. So as you can see down here, I'm looking at the blueprints here. So some of the things that I'm going to be trying to recreate, of course, is a wheel well over here. And then this is the iconic, you know, cyber, the trunk over here, and then the front and back. And so I have a, a colored version that I printed out. And this was from the Tesla, I think, website. So again, that's the iconic. So one of mine is not going to be bulletproof, guys. <laughs> it's not going to be bulletproof. So... But, for example, for the tire, right, if I wanted to work on the tire itself, one of these, and it has, like, a really cool hub cap that is really, like, iconic, like, right there. So, outside, yeah, thank you for joining us, Matthias. So, the way I would make the, tri the tire itself, I'm actually going by the blueprints, right? So, I turn this, like, uh, like a circle of sorts, and I'm trying to, because it's one-to-one -one scale, so far, the one that I've made actually matches up. Let me make sure that's the front. Cyber trucks sometimes look like they're driving backwards. <laughs> so as you can see, I've tried to make it a one-to-one -one ratio, which means... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Washington. All right. So here's uh, what I'm going to say. Uh, uh, what I was saying is that uh, when I'm making the wheel, I'm going to try to make it as one-to-one -one as possible so i just hold it like right there to make sure it's a circle 
So it's going to be around that. And I'm going to use this as a template for all the other wheels. So it's going to be like somewhere like right there. Okay. And once I get the point of where I need to be, then I just uh, tie it together, right? And this is really therapeutic, guys, because like as I am turning it, <laughs> there's a calming effect about these pipe cleaners because they're fuzzy. I Again, I'm looking back when I was a kid, man, the wires were so painful to like turn around like this. And so when I found something like this in Walmart, I was so thrilled to be able to do this. So this is the first wheel I'm going to use as a template. <laughs> Like a James Bond. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if in the next James Bond movie, they do, like, they add, like, a cyber truck of some kind. Because James Bond is known for those iconic cars. Like, So that is the wheel. And I'm always checking to make sure that it's going to be to scale. And I'm also checking to make sure that the wheel, like, it's going to fit right here. So I need to make two of these because the Tesla wheel, when I look at the blueprint, is you can see the depth of it like that. So I need to make two of them that are going to be doubled up like that. So this is the first part. And I'm going to do my best to stream again because this is a very long process, but it's also a fun process. I want to walk you through the whole process so you can see how I'm making the, the wheel. So that's the first wheel. Because I measured it already on the blueprint, all I need to do really is use this as a template. So all I got to do is go around, make sure it fits properly, and I just need to get to the point where, like that. So you don't, I, I mean, I intend to do a stop motion animation from the cyber track so i want these wheels to actually be able to ro to roll like the cyber track will be able to actually like drive along so that's the first part and then i know that's going to be like right there and then i tie like so and tighten it <laughs> a villain car <laughs> yeah and i think it would have like machine guns or something like rocket launchers and Maybe the back pops open and there's like a, a missile launcher. Or maybe it delivers like drones, you know, from the back. <laughs> like a drone delivery system. So this is the wheel. And as you can see, this is not like an easy process because I have to make uh, four. So there are four tires. I need to make eight of these to give the, the tires depth. But once I've made the first wheel, like so, now I have the second. So this is going to be, I'm going to double it up like this to make, again, we're trying to get to this point where we have the thickness of this wheel so that and also have the hub cup going like that. All right. So in order to give this depth, I use another pair of uh, pipe cleaners, right? And I need to measure it to make sure the depth is matches this. So I'm using these pieces of paper because again, these are from the blueprint. And so I just start like right there and I bend it like so. And then I bend this part as well like that to make sure to know that that's the, gonna be the depth of it like that. So with that, I know now that the depth is gonna be this wide for the tires. So I start with this, just this one end. And then the part where I bent it, like right here, that's gonna give me an idea of where to attach the next wheel. So there we go, like so. And to you guys, everyone that has just uh, like tuned in, this is what we're trying to make. <laughs> I'm trying to make a, a cyber track uh, using pipe cleaners, you know, and I'm using these blueprints to put it together. So the part that we're on is trying to make the tire over here and also get the depth of it. So now that I have the depth, I can actually go across like so 
to the other side. This is gonna help maintain the frame of the wheel. Now, I have to also remember that I need to be able to put something through for the wheels to connect. So I make sure I create like a loop in the center right there, because that's where the wheel, the chest, I guess they, they call the chassis or something like that, is gonna be, I'm gonna be able to put a rod through here, another pipe cleaner, so that the wheels can rotate around that base. All right, so now that I know that's the center, I can tie it together. And because this is malleable, it's very easy to adjust. It's not like, you know, written in stone kind of thing. All right, now that I got the other side, we're about to do the depth part of this, and this is gonna be very, very instrumental or helpful because once I have this, then every other connection is gonna be that same width. So I just connect right here, tie it together, and then use the same guide, because again, we, what we need is to be able to push a pipe cleaner through here, that's gonna work as like the roller bar, the wheel needs to be able to rotate around that like so. So I'm trying to think a way, way, way ahead. And so once I have that there as a guide, then I can rotate around that and then move it out of the way, knowing that now I have a place that I, I'm sure the wheel will be able to connect on the other side. So I just twist this one time, like so and make sure that stays centered because if it doesn't stay centered, it's the wheel isn't gonna rotate properly. So we tie this together and now the wheel is coming together. <laughs> My cyber track wheel that we have right there. So that's the little center part right there that I need to pass the, you know, the another pipe cleaner through. And I usually what I do is I keep this there just to give me, help me as a guide. Yeah, like so. So now I know it's gonna be able to rotate kind of like that. So feel free, if you have questions, please <laughs> go ahead and ask. I'll try, I'll do my best to answer. All right, now that we have this side, right? I can now start moving the one that I used to, it's almost like a, creating like treads of sorts, like so. I go through once and then through again one more time, like that. Almost like I'm, I'm sewing the wheel together. And one time like so. So as you can see, the wheel is now coming together and it has depth to it. I'm keeping this here because I wanna, that will keep me honest to know that the wheel will be able to actually rotate and just like that, guys. <laughs> That's, that'll be our first part. All right, so let me connect this properly. And I can get another pipe cleaner and connect this side, like so. And my encouragement is that, again, if you are a parent, if you're an uncle, if you're an aunt, if you're mom, if you're dad, if you're grandpa, <laughs> that this would be a good thing, like an experience that you could share with your, the little ones to teach them how to create their own toys. This, we did this during the pandemic, I remember, when we were all cooped in. It was really, really helpful just to step away from the screen and be able to create crafts using pipe cleaners. And they're very cheap, actually. They're affordable, like a pack of this kind, like this, is very affordable in Walmart. You can buy, find them in uh, on Amazon. And you can see that it's uh, three edges, <laughs> three plus. <laughs> if you, your child is like three years old, yeah, and you get a hundred of them in a pack like that with multi-colors. All right, so 
I'm co connecting the tires now. And once I have the framework of the wheels, I can now start going through almost like a loop until I get around and to give that like a frame. So I'll go like this. And you know what would be cool, guys? If you started on, on your own like cyber track and you join me next time in another stream so you can show me what you've made, that would be really cool. I, I want to see, like, you know, <laughs> I think it was, uh, Ma no, it was Washington that said that there are lots of them in Austin. I want to see more more and more, I guess, pipe cleaner cyber tracks. It won't cost you over 40000 for sure. <laughs> Just a few bucks from Walmart in time. I guess time is money. So this is a part where I am fleshing out the wheel to give it like a, a sporty look and also give it grip. Because once I start animating this using stop motion, it needs something to be able to grip as it's going across the different uh, terrains that I, I'm hoping to show it. And the terrain itself, I would also like to make it using pipe cleaners. So it's a whole experience of a, like a cyber track in a pipe cleaner world, I suppose. And I've almost done with the one wheel. So there's still a little bit to do on this side, but you can see the wheel is still able to rotate. Like if I bring it up to the screen, the, the value of having that detailing is, is gives it uh, the ability to grip, right? And it's a cyber, cyber track after all. So it needs to be able to, to grip. <laughs> So this is the first, as I'm, I'm, again, I'm making the wheel, I'm always testing to make sure that that wheel will be able to fit on the car just like that, right? And so we need to make four of these, but in order to make the four of them, you still need to double up, right? And I'm, I'm going to use this again as a template. So we're almost there. Let me flesh this out a little bit more. I definitely plan on adding some guns to this. There's no way I'm not going to add something fun to it. I like the idea of a villain car, like a James Bond sequence, like James Bond driving a tester truck. Now, I don't know, because usually in James Bond movies, they are the cars that they drive. I think those car, the car companies, they sponsor those movies. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm trading. I'll be trading on... Uh, Another car company is like, you know, calling Deebs. But hey, this is my creation. So I get to decide, I suppose, how the villain is going to look and the hero. So we're almost there. So if you're joining us, if you're just joining us, guys, I'm making a cyber track using pipe cleaners. And the part that I'm on is we're trying to make one of the wheels to go into to match the wheel well over here. And I've just made the double like rung of the, the wheel well. And it and I'm trying to flesh it out to give it a grip. I'm adding some detailing. And I might add some bling to it. You know, that's the cool thing about pipe cleaners is that they come in all colors and shapes. And they even some that are shiny. So if you want to add like chrome wheels you can actually use a silver like those shiny ones to add the that nice bling to it now i don't know if there's a cyber track in africa <laughs> what kind of specs it would have right now i'm here i'm best here in the us but it'll be fun to actually see a cyber track in you like even in uganda because i'm originally from uganda uh, i don't know if a cyber track will be able to handle some of those potholes <laughs> back home <laughs> But so here's the wheel and you can see it has traction as you're rolling across like that, which is really, really important when you're trying to get grip, right? Because again, I've been, I'm studying the blueprints and you can see they have some like detail in there with a like cross crease like that. So anyways, those are things that I add on later on. First, I do the framework 
of this so people uh, so that I can actually see how it's gonna work right all right now if I want to ha add like a hub cup over here like that's really cool all I gotta do again is get like another color and uh hey so guys what color should I use I have yellow I have purple I have uh, orange I have a few oranges and then I also have uh, black so which color do you think I should use I'm trying to do the hub cup on the outside I need a vote <laughs> which color should I use should I use yellow should I use purple should I use uh, orange should I use black what do you guys think In the meter, as I wait for the color choice, uh, I'm just strengthening the inside so that the wheels can roll properly. And then one other thing that I do is this part that goes in here, I usually try to double up, right? And I'm gonna, I use the framework to see how wide it's gonna be. So if it's gonna be like wide like that, yeah, <laughs> mind changer has uh, voted for black. Is anybody else offering uh, preferring black? Well, I'll go with mind changer because <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we should we're gonna use black. <laughs> that was the first choice. So the next part that I have to do is is put like some nice trimming on the outside because over here it has that nice trim. So it it looks like a star. So I'm gonna start off with a, a cross. Like what I'll do is like a cross like that. And I'll twist it one time. So now I have a star that's gonna go like that, okay? And that star needs to also line up with this cause I don't want it to be, I need it to be able to like pop up a little bit like that. And so once I have the wheel, I can then bend it like that, bend it one more time. And this has a danger of looking like a symbol that I'm not gonna even try. So I'll make sure that I connect it right away because if someone screen grabs that, they'll say, oh my gosh, you're creating like a, a Nazi symbol. No, I'm just wanting to show you how I'm, I'm connecting this. So uh, I'll start, out, I'll connect it right away. And then after I get to that part and I'll use this as a guide, I'm gonna bend this as well, like right there and then connect it. But as I'm connecting, I need to be aware of again, like the, as I'm thinking about the circumference of the, the wheel, so now that almost half is done, so you can see we're almost there. And then I go back to the wheel and then I look, I have to line it up with the central part of it. And then I'll connect it like so, like that. Okay. So that part is now connected and we're almost there. <laughs> and then that part right there. So that's gonna be a black trim for our Cybertruck. All right, and now what's left is just to strengthen this. I just keep going around, all the way around, just continuing to strengthening the uh, trim, the hub cup. And this is again brings back so many memories of when I was uh, growing up in Uganda. It wasn't as soft as this. We were using wires, but still, man, the, the joy of just seeing something coming to life uh, was priceless. You know, being able to scavenge. And what I used to do was go to like construction sites where they had like stripped off the wire and throwing it around. So that's where I would go and collect and then start gathering them. <laughs> but <laughs> now all I gotta do is I uh, go to Walmart and buy pipe cleaners. There are not many construction sites around this place where I can get wires. 
All right, so we are almost done here. <laughs> oh, a Jamaican. <laughs> like a Jamaican? What is that? <laughs> like a Jamaican? All right, so this is the part. So I think it's mind changer, you picked black. And so here, now you can see how we're finally coming together, right? So I have to do four of these because we need four wheels. But it's very easy to connect this. And if I need to add a little bit of uh, like interest, I can always add a little bit around there. But for now, the hub cap is almost done. And so this part right here, I can now start adding those little rims like that to give it that nice detail. So far we only have, I think they are, let me count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Yeah, there's seven of them, right? Seven, so I have one, two, three, four. So I need a seventh, <laughs> so that's five. That's five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's seven. We're gonna make it to seven. And then I just have to go around to this part. And then, so, so here's where I messed up. I should have spaced them up a little bit more, but the cool thing about pipe cleaners is that you can shift things around, right? So we have the center right there. All right, so we have our hub cup and there's uh, the one that we're trying to recreate right, right there. And it's gonna go on top like so, right? And remember, we're using that one pipe cleaner. Where is it? It's over here. So it goes through, like it goes right through here and then come through right there, right? And then I'll be able to connect the hub cap over here like that. And then the wheel will be able to rotate kind of like that. Okay, so now, this part, I know I if I need to connect this here, I need to make sure that it, it actually comes through a little bit and then hooks around. And then this part is the one where the body is gonna be connected. So the Cybertruck is gonna be sitting like so, and those will be the wheels, just like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the way I was doing the second, the two wheel wells, like I'm gonna do the same one. Now, one thing to, I, I guess, looks like I've run out of green. <laughs> so it's already gonna be fun when I have to create like uh, different wheels. But hey, oh, just a second. Let me see if I have another pack right here. So this pack has some green. So I probably have to go back to Walmart and get some more green. All right, so now we have we have this wheel, right? And we have a hub cap. So those are, go are gonna become the, the basis for the tire and the template. So all I gotta do next is take this pipe cleaner and hold a bit of it here and actually start this side. Go around like so, like so, like that. like around there, and we have our next wheel. So hold this part here, just uh, tighten it like that, and then just keep going around and around and around. And this actually helps strengthen the tire base, like the ring, and it's actually, it's very therapeutic, guys. 
the pipe cleaners are soft and fuzzy. So even as you're doing this, it's there's a coming like effect around it. And that's why I recommend it for kids. Now, the one thing that you should be aware of, like if you have a parent again, is on the end here. Uh, let me see if I can center it. it. They're like a little bit of a prickly. So make sure that as you're twisting it, that you don't poke yourself. All right, so this is the second one. Third one, because we need all together eight. So this is gonna be, again, as a template and try to make sure that they are, they're the same width, like the circumference is the same. All right, so get another pipe cleaner, use that as a template. It does, yeah. <laughs> So if you, you can actually prepare ahead of time and make these rings. If you are working with a team, mem a, a team member or if you're working with your child, you can actually have them prepare the rings ahead of time so that you can start connecting them. So now I have this here. And the cool thing is that it doesn't even have to be perfect because the, uh, the beauty is in the imperfection because as you're animating, as I'm planning to do, you want that ruggedness of uh, stop motion, right? But if you want, if you want it to be part, like extremely like perfect, you can actually use like a round shape, right? So for example, if I knew if, for example, if the circumference of this match the ring of this, and you have like something like spherical like this, you could essentially do this take the pipe cleaner, tie it around like that, around something round like that, and then hold the place and then take it off. And you always have the same circumference of your wheels. Now this one would be too big <laughs> for the cyber track. <laughs> the wheels would be too humongous. It would be like bumping along. So you need to find something that is the size of the circumference of that well. But that, that's one way that you'll be able to utilize something that is circular to be able to create the, the wheel. Okay, so we're almost done with this one. We have these two coming together. So I'll go through and uh, which way was I going? Okay, this way. Like so, and you can always play some calming music. <laughs> Sometimes I just have uh, either rap music playing in the background or even gospel music, uh, classic, classic music. And sometimes I beatbox and I, sometimes I whistle just to keep myself occupied. Eminem, <laughs> yeah, whatever rocks your butt. <laughs> I like reggae music and I like classic music. I like jazz. And uh, I was just whistling Bob Marley's song as well. I don't know if you guys have actually seen my uh, Metahuman uh, Rastafarian character. He did like a song like a no metahuman, no cry. 
So that I, my roots, I mean, I, I go a long way back when it comes of music. And yeah, if you haven't seen it, please go to and check it out in one of which. Okay, so the thing, something that we did before is as we, we were able to create this, again, pay attention to those two connectors right there because you want to be able to have the wheel, you know, connected like that, right? So even as you're making this second one, remember the part where you started out, right? So always make sure that you center this part so that you need a ring right there so that we can connect these two tires together. And what I do is just do a small ring like so. Always make sure that there's enough space for it to, for the other part to come through. Uh, and then make sure it's again centered. Like so. And make sure it's also halfway, right? Because you you wanna be able to, for the wheel to be able to, to rotate like that. All right, so, and then connect this part like so, and then keeping the depth, don't forget the depth, you know, of the, using the blueprint, don't forget the depth of the wheel, like how wide it is, like right there. That has to match the width as you're putting it together. So always, I'm always keeping this uh, blueprint here to keep me honest. And now, like, I have a sense of how wide it's going to be over here. So I, now I can eyeball it, knowing that it's going to be like that. So once you've done one tire, one we call it tire wheel, whatever you call it, it's going to be much easier to eyeball it. But this first loop that goes around like that, you are trying to get across so that you can have, again, that connector it's gonna be able to connect the wheel. So again, do the loop like so, and then twist it because that's where this is gonna come through eventually. You need to be able to, to for it to be able to go through like that. So once you have it centered, then you can go across and connect. So we're almost there. You can see the, the depth coming together. And now we can go over here and strengthen it. And whatever is left over, just use that to create the definition of the wheel. Yeah. So now we have that part and we have this part as well. So we need to test it to make sure that it's gonna go through and make sure it's centered. All right, so this gives you an idea of whether the wheel is gonna work or not, right? Because again, my goal, yes, I <laughs> mode father, we're alive. <laughs> you didn't realize, yes, we're alive. So feel free to ask any questions. Uh, but this is uh, an idea of how the wheels are going to be able to you know, rotate just like that. Okay. And this is one, like this, the one that we've just finished. Sorry. Again, this, you want to maintain the width of the cyber track because the wheels need to be able to fit in there like that. And this is the body of the cyber track. So have it on hand so you can see how wide you want your wheels to be, right? So kind of like that and also like that. Okay, we're almost there guys. So now we have at least four wheels. We just need to make sure that uh, this wheel also has the same definition as that so that you have grip. You know, again, I'm going to be doing a stop motion for this. And I want to be able for to, like, you see how it doesn't grip as well. 
because it doesn't have like this one doesn't have the same definition but once you add the definition you're able to add the way for it to grip like so all right so i can take this out for now and we're going to start first of all strength strengthening this side and just going to keep going around and around and around like that so for now to give this grip i just go one time through like that like so and then i start to apply the connection like that so it's almost like sewing and i tell you this is really coming Maybe when I, I get old, like I, I hope my, I can still have my hands moving, but I want to be able to do this until <laughs> I, when I get grandkids, I'll be able to do this with, with them. So you keep going around, again, giving remembering to give it definition because you want that roughness for it to have like grip. So you just keep going all the way around. like so always leaving a little bit of room at the edge because those ones are also going to be handy when it comes to bending it and adding the co connecting the hub cap and guys if you're curious where to find pipe cleaners these are available at walmart and they're also available on uh, amazon All right, so we're almost there with our wheel. So you can actually see it like that. I'm almost always checking to make sure you don't bend this. And we can, we'll be able to actually, in the inside, we'll be able to strengthen that so that it's steady, so that when it starts moving, because this cyber track eventually is gonna be heavy. Right now it's light because it doesn't have all the paneling around, but eventually it's gonna be heavy. So you need the wheels to be pretty strong to be able to sustain the weight. And we'll be able to add shock absorbers as well so that the wheels can bounce up and down like that. All right, so we're almost done that way. So you need prepare ahead of time. So you have plenty of the colors that you want for the wheels. If you run out of uh, <laughs> a certain color, at least try to do two that match. Right, so that the front wheels can be either blue or red or green, whatever. That would actually make it more interesting, I think. Okay, so we continue to add the definition around. This is for the grip. Again, think of it as sewing. like that, sewing without a needle. It's almost just uh, going through, bend, and then just go through to the other side, like that, leaving room in between so that you get that ruggedness, like so. Let me salvage this one that I was using as an example because we're almost over to the other side. And uh, the reason I whistle <laughs> while I'm doing this is also partially because 
<laughs> I don't want this to be demonetized. So if I whistle, there's no copyright. There can be like a copyright strike on it. You can whistle as many songs as you want. It will be like a, a cover, I suppose. Like when you whistle. Like... <laughs> All right, so we're going around, adding depth. So this may seem like it's time consuming, but the beautiful thing about it is it's really relaxing. So for me, being away from a call, this is one of the, my best uh, pastimes. Is that it gives me a chance to take a break from staring at the computer uh, instead of like when I'm animating. But I also have to, it gives my eyes a chance to rest. Um, I don't think we talk enough about health when it comes to artists. And man, you need your eyes. <laughs> you need your eyes to be able to create. So this gives me an, an opportunity to just relax and then create with my hands. Now, when it comes to artificial intelligence, guys, <laughs> as the elephant in the room, um, this is something I can do. Yeah, welcome back, Mind Changer. I uh, don't think AI will be able to do this <laughs> yet. <laughs> they will need to invent like a robot, although I was watching that uh, keynote speech by the CEO of NVIDIA, and they were talking about all those robots they brought on stage, and it's like, yeah, robots are coming, guys. All right, whew, all right, guys, look like I ran out of green. So what I'll do, this is supposed to go through here, but you know what? We have black, so the black can go through that. So I can recover, I can rescue this one and use that. So just plan ahead. If you really want to all your wheels to be a certain color, try to buy a packs of a solid color that you know are gonna be able to last your session as you're creating. So this one was a little bit loose, so I need to loop one more time. and tighten that because you don't want the trades just stripping off and falling off as you're driving your cyber truck. By the way, while I was wondering if any of you own a cyber truck, you know? I would love to hear from a cyber truck owner. So we're almost there. Almost there. <laughs> now, I think one thing that I was, I was going to point out is that, uh, so you notice as you're going through, try to maintain the, the width of the tires. But regardless, or I need to be able to test. <laughs> because if you don't test, you won't know if it has, it's actually working or not. So I'll go ahead and uh, push one through here and then through here, like so, and then another one through here, and through here, okay. So, <laughs> uh, our tire depth is a little bit different, but for me, I like imperfection because that's the way it's like, something is gonna be even more interesting. Like when you do like the stop motion, it's gonna be fun, but, my point is that try to plan ahead and plan to make the make sure that again I was showing you that find something like this that matches the like the width of your tires and then use that to like wrap around the pipe cleaner so that it's the exact same uh, circumference the width of the tire. So all right, so the cyber track is gonna be like somewhere like here. And let me show you real quick, like how would you actually connect the tires to the Cybertruck frame, right? So what I would do, and I'm going to make use a different color so it actually stands out. I want, like when we go under the hood, you want to be able, okay. So the idea is to make like V-shaped support systems. So I start off like so, and then turn this, because you want that to be the part that is going to, be down here to hold the wheels, turn it, make sure it's strong. So you need several of these. 
and then get another one and actually it can be the opposite direction like so turn it around as well to match that one and then twist it twist it like so so we have two of these that are going to be like this framework that's going to hold the tires in place, right? Um, this is not the final. I'm just going to show you how I'll do it. So in here, under the cyber track, I'm going to take this and just temporarily, I'm going to tie it here so that you guys get a sense of what this is going to do. So I'm going to tie this here as well. Again, this is just temporary, right? And then on the other side as well, I'm gonna flip the cyber track, make sure it's the same distance, right? Like so, and then hold the place where it's gonna be and then connect it there as well. So we'll use that as the connecting part. Okay and make sure it's the same length as this side and the way you can actually do that is you can get a pipe cleaner measure use that as a measure hold it right there like so and then bring it and put it on this side so you know it's going to be exact like that and then twist this and tighten it so because i have more work to do in terms of uh, strengthening the undercarriage, building it out, building in the wheel well, I just wanted to show you how you would actually connect the wheels, right? So these actually can come up and this can be, these can become lights, like they can be headlights up at the top. But now that you have this framework, these guys here are going to go through like that. So we take the wheel make sure it goes through like so and usually i make sure that i strengthen this because this is going to be wobbly if you don't strengthen it and then it goes through like that and then connects to there right and then this connects to that Okay, so now the Cybertruck has wheels that actually rotate, guys. So that's how I would connect the Cybertruck wheels. <laughs> yeah, and I hope that also this, again, as you can see, it's very important to strengthen it because this is going to be heavy. But I will be able to add like shock absorbers around here. I'll be able to, instead of this connecting directly to here, I'll have a ring of shock absorbers so that it's able to actually bounce because I want to do like some rough terrain of the cyber truck going through different terrains. But in order for it to be able to bounce around, you do need some shock absorbers. And those ones, I just do like a ring. Again, I use another like something like a pencil. Maybe something like this. And I do a coil another coil and another coil and another coil and another coil and another coil like that right and then pull it out like so and those become our shock absorbers and because these are pipe cleaners it's very springy like that so the car will be able to bounce like like that you see how it, it presses and comes back like that so that part will go will connect like right in here so there, you need several of them so the track can bounce along just like that. <laughs> okay, so I think um, I'm about an hour into all of this, but I hope this was interesting. Um, please let me know in uh, the comments. I'm going to leave this video up so that you can share your comments, but I'd love to know um, if you want to see more of this type of content and uh, let me know if you would like to join me again in the next stream. But uh, thank you so much for each and every one of you that has joined me today, guys. 
I truly appreciate the support. Thank you for helping me to get more than 290,000 subscribers. Um, this is another thing that I've always done as a kid when we're growing up in Africa. And I wanted to share it with you so that you could also share it with your kids. Uh, should there be a power cut at some point where you don't have power or if you're like on a field trip or you're traveling somewhere on a vacation with your kids, you can actually take these pipe cleaners with you and have them create something fun so that they are not bored, right? And then for you as a, an adult, I mean, you don't have to be bored. And this is my encouragement to you as an artist is that find something that you can do with your hands that will take you away from the computer because I'm so into, right now I'm really focused on making sure my health is sufficient for me to be able to continue creating. If your eyes are damaged, if you don't get a chance to rest, it's gonna, it's gonna be like fruitless. You need to be able to take care of your body. And as always guys, I'm praying for you. Please stay safe. Much love to each and every one of you. Thank you to my patrons guys. I truly, truly appreciate the support. And so today we're working on a cyber track and we're working on the tires and the wheel cup, hub cup, which is this over here. And we need to make more of those. So there's still more work to be done. I hope you can join me again on uh, the next stream. But uh, that is this is a fun part of it where you start seeing things coming together. And again, the goal is for me to create a short film out of this using stop motion. Yeah. So <laughs> I can't afford $48,000 for Cybertruck, but at least I can go to Walmart and create myself a Cybertruck. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, as always, dare to dream big. Please don't give up on your dreams. Much love to each and every one of you. Uh, bye for now.